All right. I finished coloring my new logo here that I am drawing on actual paper. Typically, I draw on an iPad. I haven't got that set up again yet, but I figured I'd try some a marker and some crowns. Why not? Hello, by the way. Thanks for joining me. I'm Boris. Don't mind me. Get your art supplies together. I'm just finishing up coloring in my logo I drew here for our drawing show. I, of course, work for Joe Gibbs Racing, and we're back to racing, but if you're like me, you're still at home, playing it safe, working from home. Maybe you're doing school from home. Hopefully that's going well for you. But we started this show because a lot of us were at home, playing it safe, and we figured, why not have something where we can do something fun, like learn how to draw race cars and things related to racing and Joe Gibbs Racing. So that's how we got here. Today, we're going to draw something unique, because this weekend, we're doing something very unique in NASCAR, and that is racing at Daytona on the road course in the infield, left and right turns. It's going to be a crazy race, so please tune in. I think we have a really good shot at winning. All of our drivers are very good at road courses, and uh, who knows, we might uh, pull out the win this weekend at Daytona. All right, in just a second, we're going to start drawing the Daytona road course, but first I want to see who all's out there, who's watching, who's having fun, and who's ready to draw. Oh yeah, lots of people out there. There's, there's Daniel and Ashley, Rich and Scott, there's Matthew and Anthony, Twiggy. How's it going, Twiggy? Christine's out there. Gloria and Will, thank you so much for tuning in. It's going to be a good day of drawing, so let's get started. Start with a fresh piece of paper here. First, I'm going to show you a bird's eye view from the top down of the Daytona track, the road course, so that you can see where our perspective is that we're going to draw today, okay? So go ahead and start with me by drawing something simple, getting warmed up, and drawing the shape of the track. And how we're going to do that is we are going to start with a line like this. Just a straight line and this will be the back stretch. Just do it as straight as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. But that's going to be the back stretch. Okay? Looking good, looking easy. And then we're going to draw the letter C on one side, on the left side, like this. And that, of course, is that big turn one and two that we usually race on in the Daytona 500. And then just draw a backward C over here to give us the other turn. And as you can tell, I'm starting with the normal track here, not the road course. We're going to fill the road course in in the middle because that's where it fits. And this is not a true-to-life drawing. This is I'm already messing up a little bit, but that's okay. We're just sketching, we're just warming up, we're just getting ready. Next, bring that little front straight away up like this and make the dog leg and then connect them. Okay? So there is Daytona. Or something close to it. it looks a little more, more like Phoenix to me, but who's counting? Did you get that done? I'm just thickening the lines so you can see them better. Again, this is just warm up. We're not trying to be perfect here. We're just getting ready to draw our final picture. All right. Now remember, pit road goes right here. So draw a line like that. Next, we're going to fit our road course into this track. Okay? Are you ready? There's Jane and Becky and Juan, Jasmine and Paul. They're all watching. Thank you for all the thumbs up and all the nice comments. Daniel, yes, we did get your package. Thank you. I'll be sending that back. Thanks so much for making that so easy for me. Appreciate that. Last, uh, well, a couple months ago, it was Daniel's birthday, and we drew a special drawing for Daniel because he's such a avid watcher. So we're going to send him one of our prints. Thanks for your patience there, Daniel. All right, next we got to fit this road course in here, okay? And I'm doing a little bit from memory. I've been practicing on my simulator. So I'm not looking at a picture. It's just a rough sketch, okay? So they're going to come off the start-finish line right here, and they're going to be heading this way, and they are going to be making a left-hand turn into here. 
kind of like this. So draw a little tiny arrow, kind of like that. All right, next they have a couple S's. And an S is just what it sounds like. It's turns to go left and right and left and right, and they make the letter S. So all you have to do is do a little S like this. And then do a straight line. Okay? So far so good. Who's out there? We got Ari out there. There's Lynn, Rambo, Grant. Hey Grant, thanks for watching from North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina as well. He's in Winston-Salem. I'm in Charlotte. Where are you watching from? We have people watch all over the world and send us drawings that they drew from all over the country and all over the world. No matter where you are, we can we can all draw, right? What's up, Mike? Good to see you. Carlton. Got Ty and Steven out there. We're having a good time. We're drawing Daytona. We're warming up with the track shape, okay? And then we'll go into a more colorful and advanced drawing. So Next, do a backwards C. This is the carousel right here. That's what they call it. Carousel. And then, draw that straight line again. And add a kink. That's the kink. That's why they call it the kink, because it's a kink. Alright. Is that looking good? Alright, next, we need a right angle. You know what a right angle is? It's, it's an angle that goes about like that. 90 degrees. So we're going to bring that up, turn right, make a straightaway, and then turn left again. All right, there's the first part of our track. So they turn onto the road course after the start finish line, make some tight left and right turns, and then they get back up on the high banks up here, the, the turn you're used to. So they get up to speed really fast coming through turns one and two, going down the back stretch really fast, and then they have what's called the bus stop. And the bus stop is a little part at the back straightaway that goes in like this. Kind of looks like the letter D down the back straightaway. See that? See how it's like a turtle shell kind of shape? They call it a bus stop because that's how bus stops look on the road. There's their main road and then the bus pulls off to pick people up and gets back on the road. So that's why they call it a bus stop. Also known as a chicane. Who's out there? We got Stewart in South Carolina. Cynthia's in Pennsylvania. Let's see, who else is out there? Mike's in South Carolina. There's Chris and Chad. Ashley's in Mooresville. Eddie's out there watching. There's Don. <clears throat> All right, we're warming up. Almost time to start our main drawing, but I wanted to draw this so you can see what perspective and what position we're going to take on the track and draw. Now they've added a new turn to this road course for NASCAR, and it's another chicane, not quite a bus stop, but it's up here before Pitt Road, and you take a left, and then you make a sharp turn. Kind of looks like a mountain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just like that. And that is going to make for one exciting race. Now I'm going to outline this track in orange so you can see the course they're going to take because they don't use all the track. They do use most of it, but not all of it. So they start here in orange, take a left, sharp left, big braking point. They have to really get on the brakes through the S's, come down here in the carousel, going really fast, a little kink, left-hander kink right there up to a 90 degree right and then a sharp left that's almost a u-turn back on to the banking down the back stretch through the bus stop back up on the banking again through the new chicane off turn four nascar turn four at least and then back to complete a lap at the daytona road course I know NASCAR hasn't run on it, at least not in the Cup Series, but this road course is just about as historic as the main oval. It's been there for a long time, and I cannot wait to watch this race on Sunday. Okay, so here's where we're going to stand in our drawing. We are going to draw a picture as if we were standing right over here, looking at the new chicane and at the beautiful front grandstand at Daytona. We'll put some race cars on there. 
So if you're ready, let's pull out a new sheet of paper and get started. Who else is out there? We got Dan and Samantha and Nathan watching. Bernie, Jason, Derek's in Arizona. Sean's out there. Hey, we got Steven in Canada. Thank you, Steven. Squatch in Florida. There's Miguel. All right. Yeah, we're having fun. All right, let's draw some race cars. You ready for this? Let's draw this track. I'm going to start with my black marker here. And I'm going to draw the outline of what we're looking at. Okay. Here we go. First thing I want you to do is I want you to draw sort of like a triangle, two lines going like this, okay? So what I mean is take one line here and make it go like this. And another line here and make it go like that. It's a little bit like a triangle. You can imagine if we finish those lines how it would turn into a triangle. See if we brought them to a point, but we're not going to do that yet. We're not going to close them off. There you go. We move that up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. All right. We're going to draw a very cool photo of the, the front stretch and the new chicane and some cars racing on it, okay? All right. Next, we need to draw that front stretch curve that goes to the left. So, Continue these lines, but don't make them touch. Continue them and do something like this. See that? Kind of made it look like a nose, right? We'll just draw the other side like that too. Again, this is the front stretch. And the further away those lines get, the closer together they get. The closer they are to you, the viewer, the wider the further away the closer they get okay that's a little drawing secret to make you uh, help you make a drawing that looks really real realistic alright so if you can tell where we are we just drew this part of the track and that curve right there on the front stretch by the start finish line hopefully that helps you can see a start finish line would be right about there something like that Okay, we're going to put race cars on the track, don't worry, but first we have to get this foundation done. Okay, there's James and Matt and Scott and Gene, Toby. Thank you all for tuning in. We're having a good time. Getting ready for a great race this weekend. Hope you and your family are doing well. By the way, my hat, that's the Gibbs Gaming hat. We had a uh, virtual race at this track, uh, what was it, Tuesday night. So uh, we didn't win, but our, our guys uh, Malik and Graham did okay. They survived. All right, here we go. Let's draw that chicane now. You ready for this? The chicane is going to be right in here, okay? So we have to make a left-hander and then a sharp right-hander like this. It's kind of like an S, and it's going to go like this. You know what? This is like another nose. There we go. It's going to be tight. Those drivers are really going to have to get on the brakes. There we go. That's the new chicane. And that's to slow the cars down so they don't get up to 200 miles an hour going into turn one, which is a big braking point. Okay, Steve and Chester, Amy's out there, and John. Dalton's in Kentucky. Thanks for watching, Dalton. Okay. It's almost time to draw some cars. We gotta draw the outside world and the track they're gonna race on first. Now what I want you to do too is I want you to draw some dashed lines like this. That's a line that obviously doesn't touch. That's why they call it a dashed line. And that's going to help the drivers know where to go with the chicane. And what that means is that this area in here, off limits. They can't just fly through there and pass everybody. They have to actually go through the chicane. And then one more piece of track we want to draw is pit road, like this. There we go. That's our pit road, okay? See how these lines kind of disappear into each other? They're probably going behind my head here pretty soon on your screen. They're just kind of going to disappear back in the distance. In fact, I'm going to make pit road all black. That's just some asphalt there filled in. We're not really going to be watching pit road too much. All right. 
I know this isn't looking much like a racetrack, but trust me, it's going to come together and it's going to be really cool. Before we start adding cars in there, I want to draw some grandstands. And what you have to do there is start again just above this vanishing point over here. I'm going to move the paper down a little bit. And I want you to follow this same curve that we have here, but I want you to go up to the edge of your paper. So I want you to go like this. All right, that's going to be our grandstand. And then we're going to draw our tower. So our tower is going to have two lines going up and down like this. One right there. And one right there. Okay, now I'm going to pause and let you catch up. There's a lot of lines there. I know it's not looking like much yet, but once we finish things up and add those race cars and color it in, it's going to be perfect. It's going to look so good. Let me make sure there's no questions out there. See how everyone's doing. Thank you for all the retweets and the thumbs up and for watching. Hope you're enjoying this drawing show. There's Adam and Tim and Blake. <clears throat> there's Kenny. Eddie and Bob, Steve, all right. Thank you for all the retweets and the hearts and the thumbs up. Are you all caught up? Did you draw your two lines up on the grandstand? All right, good. Next we need to draw a line back here, make a little triangle. That's the back of the tower. And we need to connect those two lines at the top and make a rectangle. See that? All right. There's uh, Graciela, who else, Rhonda and Paul and Don, Marianne and David, a lot of people watching. Make sure you send me your drawings when you're done. All right, next we need a thick line in the middle. That's gonna simulate the glass of the tower. Now since this is in the distance, I'm not drawing it exactly how it looks, but we're getting it about as close as we can so that we know it's Daytona. All right. We're almost ready for some cars. We're going to put some cones. We're going to put some asphalt. We're going to put some grass. And unfortunately, the grandstand is going to stay empty. But that's because we're playing it safe. Next year, maybe we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to head to the track. All right. I think I got it. I think it looks pretty good. Our cars are not going to be detailed. So for our cars, we're just going to draw little rectangles like this. See that? They're just kind of racing around. We're not going too detailed on our cars because they're a little bit in the background. You can go more detailed if you like, but because they're moving so fast, I'm just doing little rectangles. People will know that they're race cars. They might be a little blurry because they're going to be going so fast. I might add some black lines in there to look like a windshield and some tires. But as you can see, this is just a little sketch of cars. It's not really a detail of cars. Yesterday, we drew the detail. So if you missed that, you need to tune in and see how we drew this, this car. Because that was pretty cool. That was fun. Check out YouTube or check out Twitter or Facebook for that replay. Today, we're doing kind of a landscape view of cars. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put the marker away, and I'm going to get my crowns out. You can use whatever you want to color in. All right, Daniel's using crowns too. That's good. There's Aji and Mohammed and Mason and Eric and Chris, Ross, a lot of people watching. Let's color in those cars. And the fun part about this is you can pick any color you like and color in your cars. You can choose who's leading. For example, maybe there's some blue on the lead car because maybe that's going to be Kyle Busch in his Snickers car. You know, or maybe uh, maybe you got uh, who else is out there? Maybe there's a purple car out there. Maybe that's Denny. Maybe he's catching up. Maybe there's a yellow and red car out there that's being put a lap down. You know, I don't know. I don't know who that would be. I don't. I don't. I don't really keep track of who has what colors. Only our cars. But for some reason, it feels right to make a yellow and a red car going a lap down over there. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, then we'll put a green car here. 
And maybe somebody's driving a pink car out there this weekend. I don't know. Who knows? Let's see. Who? Else? What, what colors am I missing? We got blue. We got green. We got orange. We got yellow. All right. I'll just add some more blue cars and maybe a black car in there. I'll get my marker back out and we'll have a black race car in there. A little orange on it. Maybe that's like Martin Truex's car. This is the fun part because you can do whatever you want. Pick whatever colors you want. Make whatever cars you want. Don't forget to have a couple white cars in there as well. You don't have to have a color on them. And then I'm going to grab gray and I'm going to make the track, the asphalt that we race on. But I'm not going to fill in like this. I'm going to actually make the lines follow the track and that will make it look so much cooler and so much faster. So see how I'm drawing the lines, the S's of the chicane and I'm making the lines go in the same direction the track goes. That's going to make it really look like a racetrack. It's going to make it look like tire marks are on the track. It's really going to help. If you, if you draw in and shade like this, that might not turn out as well. But you can try it if you want to. If you want to and that you think that would be cool, you can try it. But I'm going to stick with making the lines follow the track. Alright. My table's squeaking here. There we go. That's looking pretty, pretty good. Got a white car back here in the back. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Can you tell I'm excited about this race this weekend? Oh, I've been waiting for a long time to see a NASCAR race on the Daytona road course. It is going to be so fun to watch. And they're not getting any practice. That's what's crazy to me. So hopefully they've been practicing on their simulators, those drivers. Look at there. All right. Next, I'm going to get green. What color in the grass on the front stretch? That's really going to start making this look like Daytona. Trust me. That's the one of the prettiest parts of the track is that beautiful front stretch. So add some green in there. I'm going to find a little darker green if I have it. Yep, there it is. I'm going to mix dark and light together. That'll really help make it pop, make it look good. See that? So I'm kind of fading them in together. Oh, yeah. Now I might get a black crown in here if I have one. Let me see. There it is. And I might start adding in some more lines in the track, making this look like tire marks. The parts where the cars race the most are going to be darker because they're putting down more rubber. So, I'm not going to put black marks all over the track. I'm only going to do it where I think the cars race the most. There we go. All right. Next, I'm going to get some orange. So, I think there's going to be some cones right here. So, I'm going to put some orange here. Now, I know I'm not drawing cones, but everything's going so fast and it's so blurry those cones are just blurring by so I'm just gonna do some orange to make it look like they're there okay then I'm going to grab some blue now we use these things called turtles on the road courses thankfully they're not real turtles they just look like turtles they have a shell and it's blue and it uh, keeps the drivers in a certain groove so they can't cut the turns if you cut a turn you can go faster so they need those drivers to stay in a certain lane so I'm gonna draw a blue line here and that's gonna represent our turtles see that's kinda like the letter C right there and then I'm gonna do one over here as well because they don't want drivers cutting these turns okay there we go How's yours turning out? I can't wait to see what y'all are drawing. Make sure you take a picture, send it to me, take a screenshot, do what you need, and uh, and we will uh, we'll show it next time we can. And in case you didn't see, we're moving our drawing show to Tuesdays and Thursdays now because I have to actually go into the office sometimes. We're starting to slowly get back and stay distance, playing it safe. But something, but you know, sometimes we're gonna have to go in the office, so we're gonna move it to Tuesdays and Thursdays, and those will be our drawing days. Okay. Now I've got red, and I'm going to draw some red dashes 
for some more curbs here on the inside of the track just to make this look realistic yeah this is going to be a crazy race I can't wait to watch it alright next how about the sky we gotta fill in the sky so I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna go on the side right so I can make a wide broad thin not thin but more transparent and light line and I'm going to I'm gonna move in the same direction for every line that I do I'm just gonna keep it in the same direction like this and we're gonna draw a pretty sky like that now see how I'm holding it at such an angle that I get a wide line and I'm moving every line in the same direction there we go and I'm just gonna start light and then I might add some darker, I might press a little bit harder in some areas. I might leave some areas cloudy. See, maybe there's a cloud up there, so I'm going to leave that a little more of a light blue. Get a little darker up here. Did you know we might race in the rain if it rains at Daytona this weekend? Yep, that would be even more crazy. But hey, I'd like to watch that too. I don't think our drivers would like for that to happen, but you never know, it might. I might go in here, I might add a, little, add a little purple. Maybe we're getting close to the sun setting, so things are getting a little darker and colorful in the sky. That'll just add to it. I might go in here, I might add a little orange. Maybe the sun's starting to set and we're starting to see some color forming. You never know. In Daytona, there's some beautiful scenery. There we go. There's Tammy. Glad you enjoyed it, Tammy. Chris and Gary and Sean and Renee and Alex, Douglas and Darren, a lot of people watching. Good to see. All right. You know, I think one of our first ever drawings was at Daytona on our show, and it was of the oval. But now we get to draw the road course. What are we going to do next? We got to fill in some of these areas in the grandstand. There, it's not going to be full of people, but we still want to add some lines in there, and we're going to use that to color up our drawing. Even though these colors are not in the grandstand, we're going to pretend like they're reflections and they're swooshes and they're making things look super fast. So, for example, I'm going to draw a green line or maybe another green line. I'm going to follow our grandstand. I'm going to be really fast and really loose with it. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab a purple and I'm going to draw that again. Just having fun. Grabbing an orange just making it look fast and exciting. See that? This is where you can really enjoy what you're doing with your drawings. and It doesn't have to look exactly real. It's just having some license as an artist to really bring it to life. Okay? Maybe some red in there. There we go. We're just having fun. And then I'm going to grab that gray again. And remember, remember when I told you on this racetrack to follow the lines of the track? Well, since these other parts where there are no cars racing, um, they're not putting down tire tracks there, I'm going to take the same approach that I did with the sky. And I'm going to color on the side in those spare areas like this. And that'll differentiate it from the racing line. You'll see what I mean. See how it just shades it in? There we go. It just shades it in lightly. It makes it, keeps it from being just white, but, but it's not the racing line, so it looks a little different. There we go. We want that racing line to be the focus that people look at when they see our drawing. So we're not going to focus too much attention on the, the other space. All right, there we go. Okay, well, it's almost done here. I'm gonna put this more so you can see it. But there we have Daytona, the road course. I'm excited to watch this race this weekend. The final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign my drawing right up here along the wall, just really small. B-O-R-I-S, really small. I'm going to write the date so I remember when I drew it. 
it's always a fun thing to do. So when you grow up, you can show your kids, or maybe you're already grown up, and you can uh, keep it as a memento and see what year you drew it in. So there we go. There's Daytona, the road course, the new chicane. That's going to make for an exciting final turn coming to the checkered flag, don't you think? We've seen that at the Charlotte Roval, and I think we're going to see it again this weekend in Daytona. Of course, Ty Gibbs is racing in the ARCA race there, and then we have Xfinity with Harrison and, and Riley and Brandon, and then, of course, on Sunday, the cup race with Eric and Denny and Martin, and, of course, Kyle. So, I hope you're going to watch. Thank you for tuning in for this drawing show. I've had a lot of fun. Again, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Join me next week on Tuesday for some drawing, and I'll see you then. All right? Stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks, Eddie.